Welcome to Mr. Football's Top Picks for a Tight Budget. This is my first episode doing this series, and today we're going to be looking at youth shoulder pads. So when we talk about top picks for a tight budget, this video series is all about finding the right football equipment for the right price. If you've got a tight budget to where you can only pay so much for football equipment, if, if you're a parent right now and you're trying to find what equipment your son needs to play uh, or what he needs for football, this is... The video for you we're going to strictly talk about shoulder pads today dealing with youth level um, i've dealt with a lot of different shoulder pads in my time as a youth coach and just kind of going over two that are a great pick you know we're going to be looking at two pairs of these that are both affordable in cost and perform great on the football field for your youth, for your youth football player so both of these are by two main brands in football we have one from Riddell one from Shut. So we're going to start with the Riddell one, kind of go over the price points on all these. This isn't necessarily a review, it is a review in a way, but it more or less, I'm looking at this from the standpoint of a parent and a coach, kind of what you're getting from this pad, um, kind of what your players may be. And these are going to be more tailored to just like a starter. You know, if this is your first year of football, this is a great, both of these are great options. And you just got to pick which one you want to like best and what you can find. So this is the Riddell Z Mat, or it's called the Rival shoulder pad. It has been, it has two names. So one of these is a little bit older. I think the Rival is the current version, but the Z Mat is also the same, same setup. Um, this is an all purpose shoulder pad, which means it can be used at all level or not all levels, but it can be used uh, by any position, whether the player plays quarterback, plays offensive line, or as a defensive player, it can be used for any position on the football field. Uh, one thing that I like about these shoulder pads is the straps are actually buckles. So they're very easy for a youth player to strap these up. They're simply, you just buckle, buckle them up, and they can actually, if they can, they can adjust these by pulling this red tab, and this, you can pull them and tighten them up so uh, these aren't real loose on the player. Uh, another cool feature I like about these is their low profile. So they're, the shoulder pads aren't gonna be flopping over their ears uh, when they wear these. So they're gonna be, they're gonna sit very low on the body and that's not necessarily, it's not a bad thing, but it just, when you think about how the pads would fit, they're gonna fit very uh, comfortable and very low because there's not a whole lot, there is padding here, but the overall design and shape is very contoured for a low profile fit. Um, the clavicle pad is something that I like. It might not be the best thing for quarterbacks, but this one's so small that, I mean, it's not gonna matter for a quarterback throwing. Um, but this is, you know, something that, you know, all youth players will want. This is gonna protect your um, collarbone. Uh, these come in sizes from uh, extra small to all the way to a 3XL and a youth size, which would probably equivalent to like an adult medium shoulder pad. But this is a very great set of shoulder pads. And I forgot to tell you the price. It is $59.99. You can find them at common uh, places like Dick's Sporting Goods. You can also go to Riddell.com and find these as well as uh, Sports Unlimited is a great place that they sell these. Moving on to the next set for my top pick for a tight budget, but these are the Shut DS Flex shoulder pads. This is the DS Flex, DS Flex series. And there is a 2.0 series that came out. I believe these are at least two years old, but I'm good. this will essentially cover the DS, the newer version that has come out with these. But it is also $59.99, uh, same price as the Riddell Z Mat. So we're not really looking at anything different price wise. You are going to see some different features that this pad has that I like uh, in a youth shoulder pad. Um, as well as being the same price, it is also an all purpose shoulder pad. It is not um, uh, tailored to any type of style of player. You know, these come in uh, various sizes, for also from uh, extra small to extra large youth. And I know in a couple of other, the shut shoulder pads even go up higher if you have to get a bigger uh, set. But, um, like I said, they don't have the clavicle pad, so this one would be, even though I say that it's more of a um, all-purpose pad, a quarterback or somebody that wants to catch might be a 
great fit for them because it doesn't have that climb up the pad. You have a lot of range of motion. It does also have the low profile design. I would say the Riddell has the little lower profile because you do these kind of sit, these uh, pads right here, the AC pads kind of fit uh, pretty high up there. Um, one thing you make sure to always check for the fit is if their shoulders fit inside these pads right here on the side. Um, the standard nylon straps are pretty common with a lot of football pads. So the, if you can notice the, uh, what I call the T straps on these, what I call them, but you know, these are uh, very stretchy and these I would say are the hardest to keep buckled up. So you always want to make sure like on this one, this one uh, could easily slip off there and you could lose your buckle. That's not something that you want uh, to have to replace. It's not very much. And you know, coaches always have extras, but you know, if you purchase these, you want, you know, you want to keep up with these. So, um, you know, the, the one last thing that I like about these is the overall pad design goes down a lot further. So where the shoulder pad ends with the plastic part actually goes down a few inches more. And that is very crucial to uh, protecting some, you know, it's almost goes into rear protection, and extra uh, back protection as well, especially on the back. The back goes down quite a bit lower, if you can notice there. And the one issue that, you know, I kind of had with these, and it's not really even a big issue, but um, there are, this, this actually came, it didn't come with a matching back plate, but when I purchased this shoulder pad set, I put these on, that set so the player could use you know have a back plate on here but um, i really do like the shut back plates that they offer for youth this is a youth size it's obviously a lot smaller than kind of a standard um, adult size one and back plates aren't necessarily uh, for every player but any player can wear them it doesn't really matter but they just add a little extra back protection and you know you would think that the same color of this matches this but really, you're only getting so much more uh, extra padding. But I had a couple of my running backs this year, some of my skill players where, you know, I actually had a couple of these shut back plates that I oops, fell off. Um, I actually put these on some of my running backs and skill players. Um, they wanted to wear a couple of back plates on their stuff. So as you can kind of see, it does extend the shoulder pad down and that's kind of where it goes down. I really should have put these on and installed it, but you can kind of see how it gives you a little bit more protection, not much. It does kind of fit awkwardly at first because you have this overlap, but it's okay. It still fits. As long as you have it secure on there, it's going to be good. Um, there is a Riddell version um, of a youth. Basically, this is Riddell standard. It's their cheapest back plate. It is $29 and it can, you know, vary in price depending on where you find it. But um, this was, um, this is a varsity one, so it doesn't, it would fit, you know, this, but it would look, you know, it's going to look way too big. But anyway, it would cover, but there are youth um, ones in the Riddell back plate that are a little bit smaller. So I kind of went over everything with these and these are just two of my like like I said this video series is more about just top picks you know what I would consider if you, you know you're going into football for the first time whether you're a parent or a youth coach youth uh, youth player even like these are two really good sets of shoulder pads that I would highly recommend um, and they're at a great price for 60 bucks and that can easily work in with budgets where you're, you know you don't have to pay too much for you know if you're looking at a hundred dollars for a uh, pair of shoulder pads. You really don't need anything elaborate for youth football, but this is a great starter set. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We will have more top picks for a tight budget episodes coming later. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and we will see you back next time. Mr. Football, out.